In this video, we're going to start again with the ideal gas law, but then we're going to look at it and see how we might revise it um, to form two new equations that are useful to us. So PV equals nRT. Um, but you may also recall molar mass. Molar mass is the grams per mole of a substance. So molar mass is G over N. And I can rewrite that as N is G over molar mass. Now you can see that I could take G over M and plug it in here for the N. And I would rewrite this equation as PV is GRT over molar mass. And this is generally lit written as molar mass is GRT over PV. And this is a really, really useful equation to us when we want to find the molar mass of a gas. Um, we can further manipulate that equation. So I'm going to go ahead and write it again. Okay, uh, PV. Now you might notice that G over V. What would be grams over volume? Well, that's your density. Density is mass over volume. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug density in for that instead. And we end up with molar mass is dRT over P, which is generally rewritten as density is molar mass times pressure over RT. And this is a really, really useful equation when we're trying to relate the molar mass or density of the equation. I do want to point out one thing. This capital M is not molarity. It's molar mass. Um, and these are two really important equations that we're going to use quite a bit. And you can either memorize them or you can remember how to manipulate the ideal gas law to get them.